The Baltimore Orioles honored one of our former MDOT-MT employees as part of the celebration of the 100th anniversary of the Negro Leagues. Although that celebration was virtual, it was one to remember. Take a look. Play ball! Well, things look a little different at the ballpark this year due to the coronavirus pandemic. Even with nobody at the ballpark, we wanted to um, provide some sense of normalcy with our pregame ceremony. So we've continued to do our, uh, our national anthem and our ceremonial first pitch, um, but we're doing them virtually. They wanted to throw out the first pitch commemorating the 100th anniversary of Negro League Baseball, which started February the 13th of 1920. And when he asked me to do so, it'd be uh, not at Camden Yard because of the coronavirus. And he did it in front of the museum, which is located at the Owings Mills branch of the Baltimore County Library. Today's virtual first pitch is from Ray Banks, co-founder of the Hubert V. Simmons Negro Leagues Baseball Museum in Owings Mills, Maryland. In 2009, Ray Banks and former Negro Leagues baseball player Hubert B. Burt Simmons opened the museum, which was later named after Burt following his passing. The museum intends to administer projects designed to educate, advocate, and generate widespread interest. The Orioles have had a long-standing tradition of recognizing Negro Leagues ball. The Orioles, as an organization, believe it's important, um, not just for us, but all of baseball, um, to recognize the Negro Leagues and their place in baseball history. Black Americans have been playing baseball as long as white Americans. They just weren't allowed to play with the whites in a professional, professionally organized league. One of the Negro League's greats honored by the Orioles is Baltimore's own Leon Day. Leon Day was, was remarkable in, in, many, in many respects. I mean, he was a pitcher mainly, but when he didn't pitch, he also played, uh, he played second base some, he played the outfield some. He was an excellent hitter. Shortly before his death in 1995, Leon Day was elected to baseball's Hall of Fame in recognition of his spectacular achievements. His widow, Geraldine Day, remembers. He called me early that morning around 8 and eight o'clock or 9 o'clock, something or other. He said, guess what, baby? Guess what? I said, what? He says, I'm in. I'm in. I said, you in what? So he said, I've been in the Hall of Fame. Mrs. Day reflected on the impact these players had on the game. If you look, look back and see what those guys accomplished without any, any support, but they did it on their own because they loved the game. I, I feel that they should be recognized. Want to learn more about Leon Day and other Negro Leagues players in this 100th anniversary year? The Hubert B. Simmons Museum of Negro Leagues Baseball is a short walk from the Owings Mills Metro Station. Be sure to check out the Baltimore County website for details on reopening.